In the spirit of celebrating Black History Month, everyone appreciates and shares the significance of black heritage and culture over the years. We'd like to honor African Americans who had significant contributions to the world of science and technology. However, to truly celebrate, it's necessary to acknowledge the numerous contributions made by African Americans throughout history, as well as the difficulties they faced while developing the groundbreaking technological innovations that brought science to where it is today. Some instances include caller ID, traffic lights, and many more. So in honor of Black History Month, here are the seven most iconic and influential African Americans in technology history who have had a major influence on our world. First off is the impeccable Garrett Augustus Morgan. Many of the well-known innovators in history created just one significant innovation that became famous and secured their prominent standing. However, Garrett Augustus Morgan, one of the country's most prominent African American inventors, invented two the gas mask, and the traffic signal. Garrett A. Morgan only completed the sixth grade of formal education, but this didn't stop him, as Morgan possessed a natural mechanical mind that made problem solving easy, just like many brilliant inventors. And unlike most other innovators, he was also a successful businessman. At the age of 18, Garrett Morgan moved to Cleveland, Ohio, where his expertise and relentless work ethic helped him achieve success nearly right away. He invented the first chemical hair straightener, launched his own company to repair sewing machines, and even founded the Cleveland Call newspaper. Meanwhile, Morgan's career as an inventor was where he made the most significant contributions. He was granted a patent for the first gas mask in 1914, but it wasn't until 1915 that the concept gained significant traction. There was an incident, and Morgan and a group of guys put on the masks to assist in rescuing employees who became trapped in a tunnel beneath Lake Erie due to an explosion. After the successful rescue, you can guess what must have happened. Well, requests for the masks flooded in. But wait, there's more. The traffic light, which was Garrett Morgan's second well-known invention, was likewise created to save lives and was inspired after seeing a car accident. Morgan thought to himself that a device was required to prevent collisions between vehicles, tractors, and people after observing one on a public route. So he invented a traffic signal that was intended to stand on a corner and direct passing cars and pedestrians to stop or go. You'd have to agree that this is just brilliant. Lisa Golobter is also one of the many black modern tech pioneers who helped develop most of the internet technology we use today. Lisa Golobter, the CEO and co-founder of the tech-enabled platform Techwitable, has more than 25 years of experience in the tech sector. And according to her company's website, she's the driving force behind the software that powers well-known consumer products like Hulu and Shockwave, a foundational technology of 1995 that sparked the creation of interactive multimedia, web animation, and video games. So thanks to her, streaming and other digital privileges are available. She's also a computer scientist who created the animation that's used to produce GIFs, which has permanently changed the social media applications that have included multimedia activity into their platforms and the way that users communicate. Her experience covers a number of fields, including product management, engineering, user-centered design, business operations, and strategy development. Lisa Golobter, a 50-year-old software entrepreneur, has demonstrated that tech isn't limited to science by using her ability to stretch across numerous different businesses as a STEM agent. Golobter's technological contributions have made her one of our generation's greatest tech pioneers, and more importantly, an essential figure in black history. And despite the numerous obstacles that being a black woman in tech presents, Golobter certainly used her skills to create herself a seat at the table, and her current work is paying that idea forward to others. Oh, and how about the famous James E. West? He developed the foil-based electrically heated microphone, a small device that doesn't require polarizing electricity and is currently used in 90% of all modern microphones, including those in telephones, cameras, hearing aids, webcams, baby monitors, and digital recorders. After a lengthy career as an acoustical scientist, West transitioned into an educator and advocate for diversity in science. He helped more than 500 non-white students earn degrees in science, engineering, and mathematics during the 1970s at Bell Labs as a member of the Association of Black Laboratories Employees, or ABLE, which successfully pushed management to fund the Summer Research Program, or SRP, and Cooperate Research Fellowship Program, or CRFP. He was a great scientist who inspired many. Marie Van Britten is also a tech icon, deserving a spotlight for her contributions in the field of science. And although home security systems are more sophisticated now than ever, the concept of a home monitoring system was practically unthinkable back in 1966. 
But that same year, the well-known African-American inventors Marie Van Britten Brown and Albert Brown submitted a patent application for a closed-circuit television security system, which served as the model for today's home security systems. The four peepholes in Brown's system each included a camera that could slide up and down to be looked through, and on a monitor, anything the camera captured would be visible. And that was not all it could do. It also had the ability to unlock a door with a remote control. Cool, right? Marie Van Britten was indeed decades ahead of her time, so she came up with the first in a long line of home security innovations that are still available today. She definitely deserves some accolades. Another remarkable icon is the great Otis Boykin. Thanks to Otis's work, we can now provide the wiring in our electronics with the correct resistance value. Without Otis's invention, technological advancements would not be possible. Our TVs, computers, and radios have advanced significantly to become the cutting-edge electronics we have today as a result of his brilliant invention. Otis's research has also contributed to the development of the implantable pacemaker, a tool used by millions to treat heart ailments. Otis Boykin, who had no official title other than laboratory assistant, invented his wire precision resistor, for which he was granted a patent, and as a result, he fundamentally changed the course of technology. He may not have been able to pursue graduate studies because of his family's poor financial resources, yet Otis designed electrical resistors and made further advancements to them. Pacemakers, televisions, smartphones, computers, and some military hardware like guided missiles all made use of his concept. Isn't he exceptional? Have you ever considered what it would be like if your television could project the image being displayed on the screen into your living room in three dimensions? Maybe not. But if it does, Valerie Thomas, an African-American inventor, should be given the credit. Valerie Thomas served NASA from 1964 to 1995 in a variety of roles, where she created real-time computer data systems, carried out extensive research, and oversaw several operations, programs, and facilities. And while in charge of a project for NASA's image processing systems, this tech icon led a team that developed Landsat, the first satellite to send images from orbit. Also in 1977, Valerie Thomas started testing an illusion transmitter with an eye toward the future, which she finally patented in 1980. This illusion transmitter has concave mirrors installed on both ends of the transmission when it's in use and creates a three-dimensional optical illusion that appears real to the person seeing it. Her inventions were revolutionary. And she didn't stop there, obviously. Valerie Thomas made significant contributions to the science of space throughout her career. She contributed to the creation of computer program designs that aided study on the ozone layer, satellite technology, and Halley's Comet. She became one of the most well-known black inventors of the 20th century, and NASA is still utilizing her technique and is looking into how to apply it to surgical instruments as well as television and radio. Another icon the world really needs to honor is the brilliant Dr. Mark Dean. Imagine living in a society without computers, printers, or any other modern conveniences, or having to deal with computers that are only available in black and white. Awful, right? Well, as a computer scientist and an engineer, he was his generation's tech hero after all. Not long after college, Dean landed a job at IBM and worked on the creation of a number of significant technologies, such as the first gigahertz chip, which was a groundbreaking invention that can perform a billion calculations per second and the color PC monitor in 1999. And that wasn't all. He also created the industry standard architecture system bus, which made it possible for computer peripherals like disk drives and printers to be plugged directly into computers. And guess what? He's been a fan of building things since an early age. As a young boy, he constructed a tractor from scratch with the help of his father and was a multi-talented individual who stood out as a talented athlete and a brilliant student. Well, it won't surprise you that he graduated from Jefferson City High School with straight A's. What else would you expect from an incredible scientist? And as an inventor with a total of more than 20 inventions connected to his name, one of his favorite quotes is, There may be obstacles, but there are no limits. Definitely a lot of people growing up today need to hear this. The inspiring experiences of each of these icons are proof of the incredible achievements and abilities of black heritage and culture. Let us know which icon is your favorite in the comments. See you next time.